I'm here with my Dash Egg Bite Maker and a container of fresh figs and I am going to make what I call a quick fig cake. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. This is something that I made in the past with fresh plums. It comes out really great with fresh plums. I've also made it with blueberries and peaches and today I am going to try it with some fresh figs. I saw these in the supermarket yesterday. They looked really good. I haven't had fresh figs in a while. I ate some last night and today I thought I would make a cake with some of them. The first thing I'm going to do is make my cake batter. I make it in a large Pyrex measuring cup just because it's easier to pour into the egg bite maker. I have the Pyrex measuring cups in a one cup size, a two cup size, and a four cup size. Today I'm using the two cup size. And I don't really have a recipe for the cake batter I'm using. You can use any cake batter that you like. For the past year I have been grain free and gluten free. So the batter that I'm making today is made out of almond flour and coconut flour. The first thing I'm going to do is crack two eggs into my bowl. I have an immersion blender with a whisk attachment. I like to use this to beat my eggs and mix my batter. I'm going to add some honey, maybe around one tablespoon or so. Again, I'm not measuring it. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. And then some vanilla extract. Maybe that was like half a teaspoon. I'm adding a heaping teaspoon of coconut flour. The coconut flour will absorb moisture and thicken this batter, so the longer it sits, the thicker it will get. And I'm adding a very heaping teaspoon of almond flour. And I am going to whisk this together and just see what kind of consistency we have, if it's too thin or too thick or what the situation is. All right, let's check out the consistency. So this is, is a bit too watery, so I am going to add some more almond flour to this. I'm adding another heaping teaspoon. So this looks a lot better. This is almost like a cupcake batter consistency. And I'm going to add maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. The reason why I'm using baking soda is because the diet that I've been on does not really allow baking powder. It only allows baking soda. And the reason why I'm eating this way is to heal a digestive issue that I've been having for the past year. I had it many years ago and through diet I was able to heal myself and uh, it kind of came back over the past year and through diet I've been able to heal myself again and I'm probably going to stick with this for a while longer because I feel really good eating this way. But once again you could use any kind of batter that you like to use. So here are my figs. They look really good. I'm probably going to pick maybe like four of them. I think four of them would be a good amount. Um, I'm going to cut them up and like put them, it's almost going to be like a mini fig upside down cake if that makes any sense. So let me see how four do and maybe I'll need more than that but for right now I am going to clean and cut four of the figs. Here are my figs. I cut the tops off and then I cut them into quarters. They look so yummy. The next thing I'm doing is plugging in my Dash Egg Bite Maker. The blue light is on. Once the blue light goes off, then we are ready to put our ingredients into the Egg Bite Maker. Okay, the blue light just went off. Let's open this up. A little bit of steam coming out. I uh, clean this right before um, we're using it. So now I'm taking the figs and I'm really just kind of putting them here in the egg bite maker. So 
So it looks like it looks like four figs was a pretty good estimate. It's a really nice fit. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll shut this and I'll let the fruit cook for maybe like a minute. But sometimes if the fruit is already kind of soft, I find that I don't need to do that. With blueberries, for example, I don't need to do that. So if I'm using apples, I'll do this. I'll close it and cook the apples for about a minute. And if I'm using plums that are a little bit harder, I'll close it also. But these figs are kind of soft, so I don't really need to cook them uh, that much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour over my batter. The batter has thickened a bit because of the coconut flour. And I might not use all of my batter, that's fine. I'm just going to try to make sure all the fruit is covered, all the corners are full. If this rises a lot, it might overflow uh, the egg bite maker. Again, just because I didn't measure anything, I'm just kind of playing everything by eye right now. So I'm going to shut this and I'm going to cook it until the cake is cooked. It's basically just like a glorified pancake with fruit. So I'll be back in a few minutes. It's been three minutes now, so let's open this up and see what's going on inside. And that's what it looks like. We can see a little bit of browning around the edges. So I'm gonna shut this and let it continue to cook. It's been another two minutes, so five minutes total cooking time. And let's check that out. That looks really good, but it does not look like it's done yet. It looks like it needs a little bit more time. Maybe I could have added a little bit more batter than I had in there, but that's okay. Uh, let's shut this and let's come back in maybe another minute or two. Okay, it's actually been another three minutes. So this is eight minutes of total cooking time and let's open this up and see what's going on. That looks really good. The edges are definitely browned and the top is a nice golden brown and it's firming up very nice. You can see the steam coming off of the figs. The figs are baking. I don't know if you could hear them, but the figs are really cooking and the steam is coming up off of those figs. You can see like there's a, there's a hole here where it's coming out of. But I am going to say this is done. It looks done to me. I'm going to unplug the I'm going to unplug the egg bite maker and I'm going to go grab a plate. So here's my plate. There's my egg bite maker. Just want to get the spatula underneath. All right, let's see if we can flip it. And there is my easy fig cake. It looks really good. It is still piping hot. Obviously you wanna let it cool down a while. I normally make this ahead of time and then I'll actually eat it cold, kind of like a coffee cake. I'm making this now to eat tomorrow because I really like it cold instead of warm, but you could eat it warm also. And of course, if you want to put a variety of fruits in here, uh, it would look really pretty with a variety of fruits. I think it looks really nice with the figs. Also, if I was to eat this right now, I'd probably drizzle some honey on top of it. I love honey and figs. And also, I'd probably cut this in half and make like two pieces out of it. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to cut off an end piece just so we can get an idea of what's going on here. So here's... So here's a fig and here's some of the cake batter. I'm gonna taste it. This is so good and what I love is the fact that it's not overly sweet. It's really kind of like a coffee cake that's you know not too sweet and you'll have it with a cup of coffee or uh, in my case, I would have this with a cup of tea. Uh, if you eat whipped cream, whipped cream would be perfect on this. It would be so good or even some vanilla ice cream. That would be amazing on top of this. And so that is how you can make an easy fig cake in the Dash Egg Bite Maker. You can make an apple cake, a pear cake, a plum cake, a blueberry cake, like any kind of cake that you like. You can be really creative, use any kind of batter that you would normally use, but it makes a really quick and easy dessert also. So I'm gonna let this cool down 
and then I'm gonna wrap it up and put it in the fridge and enjoy the rest of this tomorrow. I just made another cake plain without any fruit just to kind of give you an idea of what you can do with the egg bite maker and I just cut it in half. I'm actually gonna cut it into four little pieces um, but I thought I would just show you. So this is how it came out. It's about an inch thick and it looks really, really good. Here's the other side of it. So this was like the side that was facing up and then this was the side that was facing down and it has a very mild flavor. You would never know there's coconut flour in it. It doesn't taste anything like coconut. At the same time, I don't think anyone would really know that there's almond flour in it. It doesn't really have a strong almond flavor uh, because of the vanilla extract. It has just a very mild vanilla flavor and it's a really nice neutral little cake. A lot of times I will like to eat this with some jam on top of it so you get your sweetness from the jam and also you could get whatever flavor you want from the jam and uh, it's also just good with some honey on it. So I'm going to uh, cut this and wrap this and then put this away. I just cut the fig cake into four pieces also. Look how pretty that is. That would be really nice with some powdered sugar on top. It's the perfect size if you want to have a little something sweet or if you're sitting down having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and you just want something a little bit sweet to go with that. That looks so good. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.